little experience I want to share with you guys. You may find it interesting or not, but remember I made a video saying that why I reply to Muslims that keep emailing me, trying to convince me to convert to that false faith, Islam, which is obviously of the devil, and explaining why I would not, because I only bow down to Jesus Christ. So, I went out the other day um, with my family, and uh, we saw this Muslim preacher who actually approached us. So, my husband goes, um, we don't want to hear about that. You know, we don't want to hear about your gospel. And he was being very humble. So, this Muslim proceeds to ignore my husband and preach about Muhammad and Allah. Muhammad's a false prophet and a pedophile, and Allah is the devil. You know, the Bible, the Quran calls Allah one of the greatest deceiver ever. The Bible says the greatest deceiver is the father of lies, which is Satan, a.k.a. Allah is Satan. So I looked at this Muslim, and I was like, you know, thank you for your time, but... You're wasting your breath because I'm never going to convert. So the Muslim ignored my comment. So he continues to speak about his gospel. And then I said it again. I said, thank you for your time, but I reject your faith. I reject your faith. I reject Allah. I reject your way of belief, your moral systems, your belief systems. You know, I, I choose Christ. So the Muslim starts to get agitated and started to raise his voice. So I humbled myself and I said to my husband, let's go. We don't need this. We'll pray for this person. And as I was leaving, this Muslim started to follow me. So... I was getting ready to leave and we were going to exit the mall because it was a mall that we went to. And this Muslim grabbed me by my shoulder and I pushed him because I don't care who you are, nobody's going to touch me. And he grabbed me by my shoulder in a rough way to attack me and I pushed him and it was self-defense. A lot of people witnessed that and be that as it may, the police accosted the Muslim. I explained my incident to the police and the police restrained the Muslim and he was arrested and stuff like that. So for he was arrested because he touched me first and I was defending myself and a lot of people saw that. So this is what the world is coming to. The reason why I'm telling you this parable is because this is what the world is coming to. Christians are going to be persecuted at an astronomical rate. Okay, it's going to get aggressive. Christians will be targeted. The Lord says, when you are persecuted, bless those who curse you, and also to rejoice in the persecution. But if someone's going to attack you and put their hands on you, you have a right to defend yourself. And you can agree or disagree. That is your problem. I suggest you take this to the Lord in prayer. But I'm going to say this. When I say I hate Muslims and I hate atheists and I hate Hindus, I don't hate the person. It's the sin. I love everybody. It is a sad situation that a lot of people are deceived and they're not crying out for the God of Abraham, who is Jesus Christ. If you are watching and you have not found the Lord Jesus Christ yet, I can't force you to come to him. That's a choice you have to make. You've been told about the gospel. You've been told that Jesus Christ is the Messiah. He is the only begotten son of the Father who was sent to die for the sins of mankind, to save them from their sins, and also so that we can live unto him and so the scriptures of the Holy Bible can be fulfilled. 
you have the choice to make to come to the Father. I can't make that choice for you. All I could do is pray for you. And that's it. But you have no right to impose your beliefs on other people. That goes for atheists, Muslims, Buddhists, whoever. Just as Christians have a choice to stay with the Father, they have a choice to either reject Christ or accept Him. God gave mankind free will. I hope you accept Christ. It's in your best interest, but that's a choice you got to make. And those that are not of the Father have a choice to come to Him or not. Just remember, every choice you make has a consequence.